Hello, I am Gerald Dickens, and I'm about to take a tour through the Buyer's Choice Visitor Centre, where I hear they have a wonderful reconstruction of a London street scene. I've got to check that out. Wow, look at this. Straight away, St James's Theatre. Now within here, the story of Buyer's Choice is playing, but this is really important for my family because it was at the St. James's Hall in London where Charles Dickens gave his final reading performances in March of 1870. So, this is a really special place for me. Wow, look at this. Could be London town. Preparing for the Christmas season, all the, all the shopkeepers displaying their wares ready for, for the crowds. It's beautiful. The gas lamps. Hensick Pink's warehouse back down here. <laughs> There's going to be a good party there. Fagan's Clothier. Oh, beautiful hats and clothes. What an amazing scene. And here, Charles Dickens' is writing desk. <laughs> this is really special. My Dickens Christmas. And look at the bustle on the streets with all of the characters. We've got charity collectors. We've got People advertising Mr. Dickens' final reading tours. This is Bumble's plum pudding. Look at it all. You can almost hear the bustle and the sound of the noise of a Christmas celebration in London. Well, here's a story I know very well. Here we have all of the, the characters from A Christmas Carol. Jacob Marley and Ebenezer Scrooge. Bob Cratchit and Tiny Tim, and then look here on this side, a whole wonderful storyboard of this amazing book. Christmas? Ah, humbug. Christmas, a poor excuse for picking a man's pocket every 25th of December. And then we've got Jacob Marley with the mist around his feet as Ebenezer Scrooge sees him in a horrible Christmas Eve. And then the Fezziwigs, look at the joy, they're dancing, and Fezziwigs on one leg, and Mrs. Fezziwigs on one leg, and, and there's Scrooge and the Ghost of Christmas Past watching on. And then the Cratchits, their Christmas lunch, and Mrs. Cratchit is terrified that her Christmas pudding hasn't worked this year, but of course it has, it always does, it's always perfect. And then the dark, sombre final scene of Scrooge's graveyard, as the Ghost of Christmas yet to come points on the way. What a wonderful celebration of Charles Dickens' ghostly little book and brought to life so brilliantly by the Buyer's Choice Carolers. It's spectacular. Now, look here. Here is the, the floor where all of the carolers are constructed. They are, they are made, they are dressed, they are decorated and painted. It's a, it's a hive of industry. But this room is really important to me because this isn't a production floor to me. This is a theater. This is the space that is transformed when I visit Byers Choice and perform A Christmas Carol. Bob Byers always says he feels like Mr. Fezziwig clearing out the warehouse and creating a, a scene of fun and festivity. But this is a great room. Look at all of that. All these stories, all this magic being created. Mr. Dickens continued to tour the Byers Choice Visitor Center. Next, he found an entire room with Bucks County, Pennsylvania styled homes to represent the area where Bob and Joyce Byers raised their family and Joyce began creating the carolers in their kitchen. He saw the glass enclosed display of some of the first carolers made. He enjoyed the heartwarming displays of the Byers Choice carolers made to show Christmas traditions from around the world. The next display had a great deal of tumultuous activity where another Byers family creation, the Kindles, who are known as the guardians of the Christmas spirit, are engaged in every winter activity you can imagine. Mr. Dickens then enters the Byers Choice Emporium where you can see and purchase Byers Choice products in person. You can even see other products that Joyce has found to help make your home cozy during your family's holiday celebration. Come and tour so you can see all the holiday displays in person and up close. It is a self-guided tour so you can spend your time seeing all the details there are to see here at Buyer's Choice. 
Mr. Dickens loved his tour, and we look forward to your visit. In the words of Tiny Tim, God bless us, everyone.